What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at a new robot lawnmower. This is the Sunseeker Orion X7. I've always been interested in getting a robot lawnmower, but setting up a perimeter wire is not something I wanted to deal with. But with this, none of that is needed as it uses a much better RTK GPS technology. So getting this lawnmower set up is very easy. You simply plug in the base station and the antenna, sync it up in the app, and from there you start mapping out your yard. Again, there are no other wires or anything else to set up. You simply drive it around your yard like a little RC car, and that's how it learns and maps out your yard. At first, it's a little tricky to control the lawnmower, but after about a minute, I got the hang of it and was able to precisely map everything out from there. I only mapped out my backyard, but you can set up multiple zones if you have other areas on the side or front of your house as well. Testing out the lawnmower, it definitely worked a lot better than I expected. I actually let my grass grow pretty wild over the last two weeks just to see if it could handle it. And surprisingly, it powered through it very easily with no problems at all. It relies on the GPS signal to navigate, but if it loses that, it still knows where it's at thanks to the built-in AI sensors on the front of the unit. Another thing I really like about this lawnmower is the built-in obstacle avoidance. If you leave something out in your yard, the lawnmower will see it, go around it, and continue on its path. I put a few different things in my yard just to test this out, and as you can see, it definitely did a great job going around everything without any issues. Coming down to the wheels, this is an all-wheel drive system that helps the lawnmower go over rough terrain or steep slopes up to 70%. I don't have any hills in my yard, but the grass is definitely very uneven with a bunch of dips everywhere, but all of this was no issue for the lawnmower. In the app, you can customize the height that you want your grass to be cut. At first, I set it about 2.2 inches, but it still looked a little long and messy to me. Now I have it at 1.6 inches, which is the look that I want. So depending how you want it, you can customize the length to be anywhere from 0.8 inches all the way up to a much longer 4 inches. So when it comes to cutting, this has a 14 inch cutting area and it also has a floating blade system which allows the blades to move up and down to give you a nice and clean cut regardless of any changes in the terrain. One thing I never heard anyone say is how quiet their lawnmower is, but this robot completely changes that as this thing is very, very quiet. The first time I ran it, I wasn't sure if it was even working, but after closer inspection, it was in fact cutting. Again, it's just extremely quiet, which is not something you would ever expect from a lawnmower. Regular talking volume on top of the robot. As you can see, very, very quiet. Once the lawnmower is done cutting, it automatically drives back to the base to charge. So besides using the app, this really is a completely hands-free way to cut your grass. In fact, you don't even have to open the app as you can schedule the lawnmower to work whenever you want it to and without any thought or effort, your grass will automatically be cut. To take things a little further, this robot even works at night so you can schedule the robot to work while you sleep and wake up to fresh cut grass every single day. Definitely a very cool feature that lets you enjoy your yard more and not have to set aside time to cut it. Last but not least, this robot is IPX5 waterproof, so you don't have to worry about it getting wet. And when it's time to clean it, all you have to do is hose it off, just like a regular lawnmower. All right, so taking a closer look at the app, this is definitely very easy to use. It's very similar to most robot vacuum apps, except instead of cleaning your floor, it's out there cutting your grass. So right here, I have my main zone A, but as I said earlier, you can also set up different zones. So if you had more than one zone, they'll all show right here. And it does detect gaps between your zones. So say if you have a zone right here, another one over here, and there's some concrete in between, it will map that out. So it'll cut only when it's in the zone. Then it'll basically just drive over without cutting and then resume cutting over there as well. So right over here, you have your status icons, you have Bluetooth and your tracking and location. Over here, you have your map settings. You can set up virtual no-go zones as well. So if there's somewhere you don't want the vacuum to go, you can also program that in there, whether that be somewhere where you store stuff, maybe it's a sidewalk or some concrete, whatever it might be, you can program it in there and then the robot will avoid that area. Then you also have a few more settings you can do here as well. Clicking this button right here, you can actually cut the grass manually. So for some reason, if it misses a little patch or maybe you have a strange little area you don't wanna map out, make a whole map for, you can turn on the robot, turn on the cutting, and manually cut that area. So definitely a very cool feature to see there. 
then right down here you just have your start button and then return to base button so coming up in settings you have a few different things so you have your cutting spacing you have normal narrow and wide and then you have your mowing speed right here you have your cutting direction you have standard traceless traceless is basically the same as standard but every time it cuts it'll cut in a different direction this way it's not leaving lines on your grass then you also have custom which is very cool so maybe you have a weird shaped lawn or you want the line to be facing a certain way so right now default is going to make them up and down like that but you can actually move this so you get the lines in a specific direction so if you want them like that maybe you want them this way maybe you want them that way however you want to do it the robot will go ahead and cut it like that for you and then right here you have cutting rotation speed if you have a much much larger lawn you might be better with low as that's going to preserve battery and let it cut longer for me i don't have that big of a yard so i put it on high so i can get a quicker and faster cut and like i said i really don't have to worry about the battery much then as i said earlier you have your cutting height you can put this in centimeters or inches this can go all the way down to 0.8 and then all the way up to four inches so Personally, I like it at 1.6. I might even go shorter. I like a shorter grass, but I know there's some people out there that prefer longer grass, so you can just set it however you like. Then you have edge cutting frequency. Like I said, my lawn isn't that big, so it doesn't take that long. I just put it every time, but if your lawn is much, much bigger, it does take longer for it to cut the edges. So that's when you might want to do it every second time or every third time. Rain delay. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is this actually has built-in rain detection. As you all know, you don't want to be cutting your grass when it's wet. It's just going to make a mess and it's going to be much harder to cut. So if this robot detects that it's raining, it'll actually stop and go back to its base. And then when it detects that it stopped raining, it'll go back out and start cutting. And right here, you can set the delay and how quick you want it to go back and start cutting. By default, it's at 30 minutes. But if you want it to go out, say, exactly one minute when it stops raining, or you can set it to multiple hours as well. Again, however you like to put that. Auto boundary optimization. I see no reason to leave that off. It seems to work very well. Basically, every time it cuts, it's going to optimize the boundary with the sensors to get a little closer and get a better cut. And that'll basically optimize every time it goes out. So definitely a cool feature to have. It's going to learn your yard over time. Night work mode. That's something you can set on or off. It's very, very, very quiet. So I would recommend trying that out. It basically sounds like a house fan sitting outside. Pretty strange if you think about it. Cutting your grass at night is basically something that's frowned upon because traditionally a lawnmower is very, very loud and you're going to disturb your neighbors. But this being so quiet, you could cut it at night and no one's even going to know. You're just magically going to have great grass every day. Your neighbors are never going to see you cut your grass. So that'll probably be something cool to play with. You have AI recognition sensitivity. And this is basically how sensitive you want the obstacle avoidance and tells you here how it'll be best to set it depending on what you have in your yard. And last but not least, right down here, you have schedule. So as I said earlier, you can schedule this however you like, and you could schedule it per day, or you can just have the same schedule every single day if you want it. You just click on one, and you got a start time and end time for everything. And then if you want to pause it, say you're going on vacation, and you don't want it to be mowing while you're gone, you could just pause that and resume it when you get back. And once you have that schedule set up, you could basically never go in this app for years if you wanted to, and every day it's just going to go out there, or every other day, however you set it. It's going to go out there, cut your grass, come back. And it's basically like having a uh, landscaper because you could not be home. You could be sleeping. doesn't matter what you're doing. The robot is going to go out there and manage the grass for you. So, so definitely very cool to remove the chore of having to cut your grass out of the equation entirely. All you got to do is go out there, water it, seed it every now and then. But cutting is not something you have to worry about anymore. And then up here, you have global or zone settings. So every single setting that you have here, I just went over, you can set that globally. So that'll apply for every single area in your yard. Or you can also set it up per zone. So maybe you want to cut a certain area once a day. The other area you don't really care about too much. Or maybe it's hidden, so you want to cut that one maybe once a week. Whatever it might be, you can set it up specifically for different areas. So definitely another way to fine tune and get everything just the way you want it as well. And that's about it for the app. Like I said, definitely a very easy app to use, very easy to use and navigate. And like I said, once you get it set up, you really won't have to open this app unless you want to check on something or update the lawnmower. Overall, this is definitely a very good robot lawnmower. This is the first one that I've tried, but even then it was still very easy to use and worked a lot better than I expected. 
So overall, if you happen to be shopping for a robot lawnmower, I would highly, highly recommend this one here, which again is the Sunseeker Orion X7. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.